What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Doom, man. <gasps> hey, man, I know y'all probably wondering why my camera's not on, bro. This is why, bro. Oh, hell. I'm sick as hell, bro. Sick as hell, bro. So, today's video, I won't be having my camera on, you feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, but make sure y'all drop a like. Man, hey, every like y'all drop, bro, every like is basically saying, dog, I hope you get better. So, if you want me to get better, bro, because I'm sick as hell right now, Drop a like right now in this video. And as y'all can see all the way at the top, we almost had 100,200 subscribers, bro. Let's try to hit 101,000 by the end of the year. Y'all already know the vibes, bro. Simple, man. So make sure y'all smash that sub button as fast as y'all can, bro. But as y'all can see by the title, man, today, I'm about to give y'all part two of how to be a comp lock, bro. The first things we're going to talk about, bro, is the bills. The top three best lockdown bills in the game. So make sure y'all pay, pay attention closely, you feel me? Now, before we get into the top three best life bills, bro, make sure y'all go to y'all settings, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. All my lockdowns are metric lockdowns, bro. Y'all see I got a two-way finisher. I got a two-way pass first guard, and they're metric. If y'all don't know what metric is, instead of going like uh, when you make a new build, it goes like 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". It goes by uh, meters, bro. So as y'all can see, my two-way pass first guard that I have right here, bro, is 1.95 meters, bro. It goes by meters. And the way you do this, bro, is go to your features, settings, Scroll all the way down to your settings and change. You're going to be on Imperial. If you are, if you see your builds is 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", you're going to be on Imperial system. Make sure y'all switch this to metric, bro. Metric, you can get like 6'4 and a half, 6'5 and a half, 6'6 and a half type builds, bro. So make sure y'all do metric, bro. And now let's get into the top three lock builds, bro. All three builds y'all are about to see are in the description. I'm going to have all three lock builds in the description. Uh, this goes for height and weight if you want to adjust the height and weight or, or stuff like that. The best height for a metric uh, lock would be 1.95, 1.94. One of these two. One point, I think 1.94 is like 6.4 and a half. I think 1.95 is 6.5 and a half, bro. Don't quote me on that. But uh, my builds is one, all my builds is 1.95, bro. I do 1.95. Uh, height uh, KGs I go by I go to 79 I do the lowest weight on all my lock builds but all three of my lock builds y'all about to see bro is in the link in the description bro um, but I'm about to explain to y'all what makes these builds good and what makes these builds bad you feel me but the first build we're gonna talk about is the two-way finisher brother two-way finisher in my opinion if you can shoot with this build this is the number one build in the game hands down the bad thing about this build it has a 50 like a 54 to 53 three balls so your three ball is low as hell but if you put corner specialist on you put um catch and shoot on gold bro i ain't gonna lie i green sometimes with this build but i'm kind of inconsistent but i've seen some people in stage you know what i'm saying they green every time with this build but as y'all can see this build gets 30 defensive badges bro and it's the fastest lock build out of any lock build in the game but the bad thing about this you might be a liability shooting in the corner if you don't know if you don't know how to shoot this here you feel me but this is what i rock right here bro um corner specialist uh goal you only can shoot in the corner with this build and catch and shoot silver but this build if you can shoot with this build this build is it, it's it's dangerous i'm telling you this is the most dangerous build in the game link in the description to learn how to make it now let's get into the number two best lockdown build bro the next build the number two best uh lockdown bit is the perimeter lockdown bro perimeter lockdown is a great build this is a gold shooting perimeter lockdown bro the gold shooting you're gonna shoot you, you as y'all can see I get a 74 three ball and 99 overall, I get like a 78. I got 17 shooting badges, but they're only gold. You feel me? I only can get these to gold badges. You know what I'm saying? But you get 17 shooting badges, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is all you really need. You feel me? This this build can shoot on top of the key. It can shoot from anywhere. It's a, li it's a little more easier to shoot than the two-way finisher. You feel me? You can do blinders. You do uh, catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? You can put whatever badges you want on. As y'all can see, this comes with 24 defensive badges. 24 defensive badges. Um, if you want to learn how to make this build, link in the description. Um, I got y'all. You feel me? But this is the second best lockdown build in the game, bro. It has gold shooting. Now, the last lockdown build, this is my favorite one in my opinion because I can shoot from anywhere. I can shoot from hash. Uh, is the two-way pass first guard, bro. The two-way pass first guard, this is my favorite lockdown build. Uh, it's in between the two-way finisher or the two-way pass first guard. This build right here, uh, y'all finna see it gets 23 defensive badges. It gets 23. It gets the lowest amount out of all three uh, 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, 22, my bad. 22 defensive badges. But this is all you really need. If you get, if you hit level 39 and stuff like that for previous seasons, you get an extra badge. Just put on your defense. Like, my two-way pass first guard has 24 defensive because I hit level 39 and got that extra badge point, and I put it to my defense. But as y'all can see, this gets Hall of Fame shooting, and you get 20 shooting badges. But you're not going to miss with this build, bro. And you can still play defense, as y'all can see. Uh, but this has the lowest amount of defensive badges out of all three. But this, you see, you get playmaking badges and everything like that, so you can help out your teammates and stuff like that. But this is the third, uh, the third best lock build. This is my probably one of my personal favorites. I got this to a 97 overall. My two-way finishers are 93, and my perimeter locks like I think I ain't even upgraded that one yet. But it's a good build. A lot of people been using it, and they say it's a great build. Now the next thing we gonna talk about is sliding on defense, bro. If you've been sliding on defense, this is why, bro. Your defensive assist. Make sure it's 0 through 15. I use 0, but uh, you can use 5, 10, or 15. I wouldn't go any higher, bro. You feel me? I wouldn't go any higher. I just stick with 0. But if you slide on defense, just try to adjust this and see what's the most comfortable for you. Uh, the higher the assist is, the, uh, the more the game kind of helps you out. But I like to be in control of my player fully, so I just have mine on 0. You feel me? So... 0 through 15 or 0 through 20 is your preference, bro, but I just rock with 0. Now let's get into these badges, bro. As y'all can see, I'm on my two-way finisher. I got 30 out of 30 defensive badges, but I just want to show y'all the badge setup I would do for each lockdown build. Right here, this is the two-way pass first guard. If you got 22 uh, defensive badges like the two-way pass first guard does, this is what I would set up. This would be my badge setup right here. This is what I used on my two-way pass first until I hit level 39 and got the extra badge point. Now, if you get... 20, uh, 24, if you're on your perimeter lock, you get 24 defensive. I will rock this right here, bam. And then uh, probably just do men and silver. This is what I would rock if I was a perimeter lockdown with 24 defensive badges. If I'm a two-way finisher, bam, uh, bam, and uh, bam. You feel me? Right here. This is what I would rock on my two-way finisher, 30 defensive badges. This will be my badge setup, bro. So I just told y'all three badge setups for each build. If, like I said, the builds are in the description, bro. Uh, if y'all want to learn how to make those builds, I got y'all. You feel me? So as y'all can see right now, I'm on my two-way pass first guard, bro. 96 overall right now, two-way pass first guard. I'm playing with my boy Festy and Pono in a stage right now, bro. I'm about to just give y'all some tips, bro. Some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. If you knew, I'm about to give y'all some tips, bro, on defense. You feel me? The first tip I'm going to give you is play with a good center, bro. You need a good center that knows how to hedge and, you know what I'm saying, have chemistry with, and y'all won't get score threes on every game. You feel me? So make sure y'all got a good center on your team who has high IQ and knows how to hedge very well. You feel me? But when you guard and ball, I like the full court press. When you guard ball, bro, try not to hold R2 that much. You feel me? I try not to hold, uh, or not R2, L2. As y'all can see, I'm kind of just running with them. I'm not really, um, you know what I'm saying, holding L2 a lot. But when I'm far away from the lock, when I'm far away from the point guard, uh, I hold R2 to sprint and get close to him. But as soon as I get close to him, I let go of R2. And I don't hold L2 that much, you know what I'm saying? I only hold L2 if they, like, really not moving anywhere, then I hold L2. But I usually just move my left analog only, bro, you feel me? Like, right now, bam, I'm on him. I'm kind of just... Moving my L, my uh, left stick. I said my L stick. My left stick. Y'all see, I'm not really moving that much. I'm kind of just letting him dribble. I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I'm only moving my left stick. I'm not really moving anywhere else. You feel me? So we got to stop right there. My center got to stop. Hey, y'all know the two-way pass first. You know, that's chicken. You know what I'm saying? Hall of Fame shooting badges. That's chicken in the corner. You feel me? But I try not to hold L2 and R2 too much. I only hold R2 if I'm far away from the uh, point guard. Or I tried to jump right there. They said I was wide open. I got back in front. I don't know how that was wide open. But uh, when I'm in front of them, I just hold my, I just move my left stick only and just play hands up defense. You feel me? So right here, we kind of up right now. My center just not gonna let me die. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a good IQ center. You see, he wasn't trying to just let me die, and give up a three. We up. When you up, you might as well not give up no threes. You feel me? And also, I only reach, I only reach when I see the point guards really not moving that much. When he kind of stands still dribbling or something, and he's not going left or right, that's when I kind of reach. But right here, y'all see, I just got an IQ play. I, oh, I pulled that. I missed that. I missed that shot. It's all good though. Hold on. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna pull that again. I was gonna pull that again. But we got an easy lay. You know what I'm saying? Easy lay. You know what I'm saying? Frito lay. But um, like I said, bro, I only reach when they not moving that much, bro. Don't just spam square and just try to get a lucky steal. You know what I'm saying? My center not letting me die. He playing, he helping me on defense a lot. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all got a good center on your team, bro. Bam, we in front of the point guard right here. You know what I'm saying? We just play hands up defense and move the left stick only. Y'all see, I'm not moving a lot. I'm kind of just letting him run to me. 
Me and my center not letting me die. You know what I'm saying? We up by, yeah, we up by three. So there's no point in giving up no threes. You feel me? So they just taking their twos and we taking ours. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. I tried to get a layup. I don't know how he ripped me. That was some BS. That was really some BS. But hold on. We finna get a, we finna get a stop right here. Hold on. Get, get, ugh, got him right there. You know what I'm saying? I reached. I seen he wasn't moving that much. I throw an alley lay. You feel me? So just try not to hold L2 or R2 too much. That's how you slide a lot when you hold L2 or R2. Uh, bam in the corner. Green. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Frito Lay got a full bar right there. But it's all good. That man went in. You feel me? Y'all don't really mess with this build. Bam got a steal right there. You know what I'm saying? I kind of just predict what they doing. I tried to give me a crazy shot right there. I don't know what I'm doing. But y'all see, I got three steals right now. I'm kind of going stupid this game. You feel me? Bam, I got another steal. He's throwing Stevie's like crazy. Green, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, this two-way pass first guard is really like that. But I got four steals right now. I went uh, three for five from the three, four for six field goal percentage. But I hope this helped y'all out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop all three builds in the description. Use these badges I told you. Use the settings I told you. And try not to hold L2 or R2 too much. Just play hands up and move your left stick only. Unless that the play guard is like five feet away from you. Then run and try to catch him. You feel me? But bro, I hope this helps y'all out, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, make sure, hey, make sure y'all make these lock bills. Links in the description for all three lock bills. Hey, I'm telling y'all. Hey, shout out to the lock gang. I love y'all. I hope some I hope more people become lockdowns because it's actually very fun, bro. I promise you. I like playing like more than point guard sometimes. You feel me? Getting stops on teams, bro, it feels way much better than getting threes sometimes, bro. You feel me? Just my opinion. So shout out to all the locks out there, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This year is kind of hard for lockdown, but we getting there. You feel me? So uh that's the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I love y'all. Make sure I hit that sub button and I'll see y'all tomorrow, man.